Alright, what is up? This little place of extra Dragon Ball Z universe. So today is we're actually trying out the Captain Falcon mod. Yes, guys, this is an actual mod in this game. Finally, I've been waiting for just more, I guess, Nintendo-based, Smash-based just mods in general. And this actually looks fucking sick as hell, as you can see. We got the clean 60 FPS going on because I actually went in there and I made every single palette swap from uh I tried to do melee, but the problem was there were actually a couple of extra ones and the colors weren't as accurate because the game was a little bit darker. So I was like, all right, let's just go with full on Smash 4 colors. So we have, of course, Fabulous Falcon, the pink Captain Falcon. You guys already know this is like the trademark, the funniest, the best one that a lot of people like to use. We also have the green one, my personal favorite. I think the green one is just, I don't know, something about it. It's so ugly looking, but at the same time, it's sick. So that one's awesome. Uh, we have the Blood Falcon from, I think, one of the F-Zero games, and this one just looks really nice and clean. I don't know why. I always thought this one was like the purple palette swap because it has a lot of purple on it, but they do call it the Blood Falcon. And we also have the, I guess, dark gray, black falcon, whatever palette swap you want to call this one. Uh, the red, I guess, helmet really does stand out on this one. Uh, we have the dark blue or, I guess, just full blue one from Smash 4. I think this one was exclusive to Smash 4. And then, uh, of course, we have to have the gold nips, gold nipple falcon. Let's go. Full on, just, this man would melt. Like, <laughs> he's, he's pure gold. Very cool. And uh, all of these were actually created by Cali Kings 01 uh, I just created the palette swaps of just the different colors or whatever, but he did the basis of the mod and actually did a sick job, a fantastic fucking job, very polished, uh, I'm not really seeing a lot of errors with it, and this is actually over your custom character too, so you can just, you know, fuck around. Move set, we got Meteor Crash, Super Dragon Fist, you know, just for, I guess, a Falcon Punch kind of thing, uh, Riot Javelin, just because this move is cool, we have Maximum Charge. Uh, I had to give him Super Saiyan, so I was like, let's opt for the Super Vegeta 2. Super Elite Combo, Super Front Jump, and then just the Z Soul because it's like really OP and powerful and shit. So, uh, I don't know why these two are exactly the same. It just, I guess, has to do with the basis of it. I did try to add in another color, but it just ruined it uh, with... Because I tried to do the light blue one from Melee, and that one didn't work too well. So, uh, very cool. We're going to try out all the colors in this episode and um, try to blaze through... Uh, each color in like each match or whatever. I don't know if I can can I select uh, Multiple characters. Okay. I can't fucking do the I guess human or custom character and battle each other Which kind of sucks. I don't know why but uh, before we get started guys do me a huge favor and hit that like when should reach 15 likes on this video That'd be amazing and I really appreciate a pleasure You want to see more Dragon Ball Z universe content on this channel as well as a continuation of the mod series and more sick mods like this man Cali Kings man if you're watching this I, I love your mod. Uh, this is great. Please make more if you can make like more Smash Bros. I get it's just Nintendo based ones. I think these look fantastic. So we're gonna do the classic. We gotta go against my boy Goku. And I guess the best place, what is a, I guess, uh, maybe in the industrial sector, just because F Zero is kind of that car racing kind of industrial area. So uh, I decided to actually mute the music in the background so you guys can have some of the clean, amazing, just Captain Falcon and F Zero uh, music from the stages. But this looks so sick. So. Um, if you guys don't already know, I'm like a huge Smash Bros. fan. I love uh, Smash 64, Melee. Melee is by far my favorite game of all time uh, for, I guess, Smash Brothers. It's just one of my favorite games of all time because it's just so damn fun. Uh, I like to play competitively. And look at that, Super Saiyan and his eyes actually glow. Look at that. That's hilarious. I didn't even notice that. So, yeah, that was one thing that we were missing, his eyes glowing or whatever. That's, that's actually funny as hell. Falcon Punch! Okay, that... I guess works. <laughs> Holy shit, what is happening? What is this dude? The uh, super elite combo. That's, I think, one of Jacko's moves or whatever. But yeah, um, Smash 4 is great too. I really do like playing that one every now and then. Uh, you know, the problem with it is, like, I don't know. Just the way I play, I like more of a fast paced kind of style. And whenever I play through it, it's like, it feels really slow. But I like watching, like, competitive players like Zero, fucking uh, Fatality, who has, you know, fat Fatality Falcon, his. Captain Falcon is fucking just god tier. But yeah, let's go and finish him off with that super elite combo. That looks sick, dude. Look at that, man. Look at his eyes. <laughs> They're glowing. But, um, yeah, a lot of tournaments that I've been watching recently, like, uh, I think Shine 2016 was a couple, was it a week ago? It was like a couple of weeks ago. Uh, very cool. Of course, my favorite player, Mango, by far. He's just so sick. You know, his, his play style is so fast paced and aggressive, and he's just awesome. Cloud9, dude, Cloud9 for the win. So let's go and try out the uh, pink Captain Falcon. Let's go against Super Saiyan God Goku, even though this one is the, I guess, color or just regular one from Dragon Ball Super. But uh, this time around, let's go to the Hyperbolic Time Chamber just because I'm feeling it. 
But uh, yeah, it's awesome that you're able to customize uh, the colors on this mod because I thought that it was just going to be, you know, your basic just straight up, okay, you have Captain Falcon and that's it like with other mods. But you can actually change the colors of this one, which I haven't been able to actually do with most of these like custom mods for your custom character. And that, I think that's just really awesome and nice of the dude to do that. Let's go with Super Saiyan again. Uh, let's see if that does anything. Okay, of course not. And, um, yeah, I'm really excited for just new tournaments coming pretty soon here. Uh, let me actually use this right shot because it looks so sick. Um, I think there's one, I think it's, Re is it Revelation this month in uh, September? There's only like one tournament that's kind of big during this month, but I, I don't know. I feel like I'm missing a lot uh, compared to last year. There was like HCC Throwdown, there, were, there was uh, Paragon. I think it was LA uh, 2015 very cool stuff and you know that was one of the terms that mango once so I was like oh yeah that's hype as shit but uh yeah s fat's pretty much got his number like I know some of you probably have no idea what I'm talking about like who's s fat you know who's mango uh, just in case you know these are just like top players uh, s fat's from CLG mango's cloud nine you guys already know hungry box if you've been watching Evo he was the 2016 Evo champion uh, Armada great peach player um yeah it's just kind of all these like really top tier you know amazing players s2j his captain falcon on point as always like just so sick so if we got a green guy we got to go against another green guy so we're gonna go against cybermen i don't know <laughs> just like whatever at this point let's go to the alien planet tuffle world and see how my favorite palette swap color Captain kind of Falcon fares up against this damn Cyberman. Look at that, it looks so sick, dude. This looks actually good. I like how the colors are pretty accurate, like, you know, that, that are incorporated into this game. So it, like, pretty much works out. Let's go ahead and go uh, Super Vegeta 2 again, because it looks sick. What is he doing? What is this guy doing? It looks retarded. But, um, yeah, if you guys are into Smash tournaments and stuff, definitely, like, go check out your local scene and just see what's really around you because you can find a lot of cool tournaments and just in general like i'm i'm a huge fighting game fanatic i love you know street fighter and stuff i suck at street fighter i like mvc3 or just mvc2 is better you know it's obviously going to be the better one uh i suck at those melee i'm a little bit better at i still do you know suck at that game because i end up getting destroyed every time i go to a tournament and that's just you know how i am i'm not really I don't know, like my passion for the game lies within just kind of playing friendlies and just enjoying the game and trying to push myself as far as I can. And um, when it, it gets to a certain point where I go to tournaments, it's like, fuck. I think the main part is just having to spend money. Like, I don't know, I don't like spending money on a tournament that I'll immediately lose. I feel like I've wasted my money and I just don't gain experience. And that's not the mentality that you want to have when going into tournaments. You kind of want to be more thrilled and willing, but um, I'll go to tournaments that are larger. like. Uh, the one that I used to go to was like around me. It was it, it was cool and stuff, you know, for the first few times, and it was cheap too. It was like five bucks, and it, you know it was worth going to and you know playing and trying to get some tournament experience. Just you know ex experiencing a tournament in general. But uh, you know fighting these people who were like really good and stuff. You know it was definitely an eye opener. And sometimes you got to get your ass whooped. Actually, a lot of the times you got to get fucked up just to you know understand the concept of getting better. And you know. I had to learn the hard way, of course, as, you know, most people do. And I got whooped. I got spanked by, I think it was a really, really good Peach player in Winners. And uh, I think it was a Fox player who was super fucking technical. Most technical Fox that I've played against in my life because I don't really go to a lot of tournaments. But Low Tier City 4 that was in June was actually sick as hell. Like, that was pretty damn cool. I enjoyed that tournament so much. That was one of the larger tournaments, uh, you know, in my area in Texas. So... Very cool stuff. Uh, I just wish the scene in Texas was a lot bigger. Um, I feel like the only like really good top player that we have in Texas is uh, who is it? Wobbles. I think Wobbles is like the only like really uh, I guess intuitive player in our area, and I think he lives in Arizona right now. I don't know if he even lives in Texas anymore. But uh, the South by Southwest Battle of the uh, Five Gods. If you guys watch the vlog on that, super sick, super fun, and. Um, you know, I kind of just went through it and just sat there and I was amazed by everything that kind of went down. It was an invitational, so obviously no, like, no, no random person could enter. It was, you know, top 20 players at that time. Uh, Rip Leffen, though. <laughs> we didn't see my boy Leffen, dude. I, I, I love Leffen. He, I love him, but I hate him. He's an asshole, but he's, he's like the asshole that you got to live with and you got to respect and love him because he's so fucking good at the game. And, you know, his visa issues and everything. Come on, TSM, like... 
Damn, that, that sucks. That's super unfortunate, but he's such a good player. I hope he comes back soon. I just really want to see him just progress and get better. I think he could potentially be the best in the world if, you know, he was able to go to tournaments like that. Those visa issues kind of stopped him in his tracks, which I thought was just completely unfair and just bullshit. But let's go ahead and go against... Um, Okay, so we got Falcon. Who would be a cool person that Falcon could fight? Let's just see him go against like the full max power characters of this game, like the, the big three as usual, like I like to call them. Go open field. But um, yeah, guys, uh, I'm actually recording this on Labor Day, so if you guys are enjoying Labor Day, you know, you know, happy Labor Day, man. <laughs> I don't, I don't really know. I never knew the concept of Labor Day. Like it sounds like labor, you know, that's that's work and hard work and shit. But we're always off. Um, I probably sound like an idiot to people who know what that really, like, what it stands for or whatever, but I've always seen it as just fucking a day off to chill and relax and enjoy, and, you know, I hope you guys are having a good time, too. Spend some time with your family, your friends. Uh, you know, life is short, man. You gotta, you gotta make the most out of it and just enjoy it. Man, this looks so good. <laughs> like, this, this mod is so sick, and just the fucking combos that we can do. It, he's, like, on fire. He's got the falcon punch ready to go look at this oh falcon punch hold up let's see if we can do it shit no 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 come on falcon fuck man i can't do it i tried to do it well, it's not working uh i don't know if there were any kicking moves so i couldn't really have a falcon kick but you know falcon punch is the trademark we had to incorporate incorporate that somehow can't even speak right now i'm so hyped but um man xenoverse 2 Coming out soon, dude. Just day by day, I'm getting so hyped. There was uh, actually some gameplay at PAX yesterday, I think, or the day before, something like that, and it was just, mm, it was so nice. I know we've seen pretty much the same shit over and over again. It's the same uh, characters at this latest build that they have going on here, but um, I don't know. I just really, I just really want to get my hands on it. This beta, I need to touch it. I need, I need to experience. 100% just straight going in on this game. Like, it looks so good, man. I, oh my God. Like, even if it was... It looks so similar to just Xenoverse 1. Just, like I said, it's very polished and stuff. And there's not really much you can <laughs> really say about it. it. It's just hype as fuck. Xenoverse 2. Just slap a 2 on it. I'll, I'll buy it. <laughs> Legit. Like, I don't know what to expect now, man. Like, I just want to see more characters. Uh, I definitely want to work on a top five before the game comes out. Top five characters that I want to see. There, we got the Falcon Punch. And um, I know some of you were requesting for me to you know, voice my opinion on what characters would work and should be in the game, uh, you know, regardless of DLC or anything. Just uh, I know for a fact Dragon Ball characters aren't going to be in the game you know, from day one, hopefully in DLC later, but uh, we'll definitely see what's going on with that. Boom, this looks so weird. He's like fucking... Johnny Cage using Riot Javelin, his special effects. <laughs> that has nothing to do with Falcon at all. But, uh, yeah, I'm working on it, you know, just trying to put together a good top five. Oh, shit, I did not want to retry. Okay, I'm going to have to get, get out of this. But, uh, you know, just with school and everything, I've had so much work. Uh, almost every single day now I've had homework because I'm trying to get finished with stuff and there were certain things to where uh, if I got done with it early, I didn't have to buy the book. You know, saves money, it's worth it. Anytime, you know, your teacher gives you the opportunity to save money by just doing something early, take it. Really take it. I, I just saved, like, fucking $60, $70 on a stupid book that I didn't even need or uh, some, like, online access code. But let's go ahead and do the final Golden Falcon against, um... You know what? I was gonna say Majin Buu, but we have to go Nova Shenron. Gold versus gold. I think this would be, like, the sickest-looking match right now. Uh, we have to go to... Some place that would really just define the colors of this. We're going to go to the destroyed planet dynamic. Gold. And they're like pure gold. So they, they'd like melt. Like, <laughs> I don't know. This is, oh my god. This is the battle to finish it off, man. Let's go, boys. But, uh, yeah, hopefully we get some more uh, news on Xenoverse 2 and the beta. Uh, I'm, I'm assuming that we're going to be getting this probably... Uh, in a couple of weeks, definitely a, like a couple of weeks right before October begins because that's kind of how it went down with uh, Xenoverse 1 when they had their open test fire beta kind of thing and it would just only, you know, make sense for them to do it so that they can try out the online and see how it works initially without, you know, any issues or just problems because this game is going to launch in, you know, less than two months now and holy shit, Nova Shenron, relax bro. Right, Javelin! Oh shit, I have no... Oh, 
Okay, I can't even charge. What's happening right now? Okay, it looks like I am pretty much disabled from using any moveset. Can we get a la like last final combo? Come on, man. Okay, I have no idea. You're probably hearing my buttons clicking and shit. I need to get a new controller, man. But, yeah, let's see what happens. Um, the beta, man, the beta. That's, that, that is the merchandise right there. That is the goal for this year, is just play the beta. Not even the full game. I just want to play the beta. <laughs> nah. But, yeah, that's pretty much every day now. I've just been thinking about it. Can we clutch it out? Oh, yeah, let's go. Pixel health, Captain Falcon rules. Let's fucking go. We just... Did that clean, like, knee? Oh, my God. If we had a knee move, man, the electric knee, that'd be sick. Wave dash into, like, fucking neutral air, up air, spike. I don't know what the hell I'm saying. Like, <laughs> just thinking about what I just said sounds stupid. But that's pretty much going to do it for this episode, guys. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it because this one was a little bit different. I decided to go for, you know, I guess one of the custom character mods. I know I rarely do those just because there are a lot out there, but this one was definitely just one I had to cover because it's Smash related, you know, Nintendo related. We had to do it, man. We just had to do it. So thank you so much, Cali Kings 01 for making this mod. Fantastic job. I'll link all his stuff in the description below. I'm not sure if he has a channel. I'll try and look for it, but if he, you know, doesn't, I'll definitely link in uh, the description where you can actually download this mod for yourself and try it out. Really liked it. Leave a like if you guys enjoyed it and tell me what you're excited for for the Xenoverse 2, I guess, beta, when you think it's going to be, I guess, releasing or just the couple of days that we're going to be able to try it out. And uh, just let me know what your favorite, I guess, color of the Captain Falcon palette swaps that I actually had right here. What is your favorite color? Because green by far my favorite. It looks so sick. So thanks again for watching, and I will talk to you guys in the next one. Take care.